This is the fourth section of chapter nine on trigonometric ratios. And this section is about solving triangle problems. So when we do these types of questions, first of all, these will require a combination of maybe the sine rule, the cosine rule, or the area of a triangle. So at least two of these, if not all three. And when we do these types of questions, don't round, do not round until you get your answer at the end. So in your intermediate working, as you're working through the question, use the answer button and don't round to the very end. Example 10. So the diagram below shows the locations of four mobile phone masks in a field. OK, BC is 75 meters. That's there already. CD is 80. So that's there already. Angle BCD is 55, that's there already. And angle ADC is 140, so that's there already. In order that the masks do not interfere with each other, they must be at least 70 meters apart. Given that the minimum distance from, um, given that A is the minimum distance from D, okay, so if D is the minimum distance from A, that means that this is 70 meters there so we can put that in find the distance from a to b so in part a we need to work out what this distance is here okay now we've got a quadrilateral and we've been dealing with triangles so we need to split this into triangles i suppose i could split it this way but if i split it this way i suppose then i have two sides and an angle between them then i can find this length and then possibly try and find that length, but that's gonna be difficult because I'm gonna chop that angle in half there. I could instead split it up into a triangle this way. And I've got two sides and an angle, and I can use it to find the length of this side here. Then once I've got this side, I reckon I could possibly use it to find uh, this side here. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is to draw this line in here and start by finding out what the length of BD is first. So to do that, two sides in the angle between, I want to find a third side, that's going to be the cosine rule. So the length of the side I want to find squared, so BD squared, is going to be equal to 75 squared or 80 squared, plus 80 squared or 75 squared, minus 2 times 75, times by 80 times by the cosine of the angle between them which is 55 degrees okay so if we work that out we'll get bd squared equal to 5142 5142.0827 and so on we'll square root that to find bd and that gives us 71 0.7083 okay so i'm going to be using that exact answer uh, for my next part so we'll just add that length to our diagram and we'll just write it as 71.7 for now right our next step is we're going to calculate this angle here now when we've got this angle we can do 140 minus that to get this then once we've got this angle and these two sides here, we can then find this length here. Now to find this angle, I could use the cosine rule because I've got all three sides and make this A. Or I can use the sine rule and use side angle pairs. So there's a pair here, this unknown and this pair here. I'm just going to use the sine rule because the probably the work is slightly easier. So what I will have, I'll start with the side angle pair that I know. And because I want to find an angle, I'm going to make sure that I have sine A or sine B at the top. So I will have my sine 55 over the side that goes with it. So that's that 71.7. Now I will use the answer button. So I'll just put dot, dot, dot to show that I'm using the exact value equals to the sine of the angle I want to find. Now this is angle uh, BDC. So sine of angle BDC over 75. 
Right, so if we type this in on a calculator, we actually get sine of angle B, D, C equal to 0.8567. So I'm going to do the sine inverse of that and get angle B, D, C as 58.9540.5. So that's the size of this angle here. So I'll put that in on my diagram. So 58.95, I'll just put 0.9. I can use the exact value. So that means that this angle here, so this angle, which is angle ADB. So angle ADB is going to be 140 minus this 58. 0.9 figure and that gives me 81.0459 and again the exact value I'll have on my calculator so I'll just put that angle in there 81.04 dot 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 right so what have we got we've got this angle here we've got these two sides and we want to find this side so we're going to use the cosine rule again. We don't have this exact value anymore on our answer button, but we've got enough decimal places written down here to get a good enough answer to one decimal place here. OK, this needs to be at, at least two decimal places. So if I just write down everything to four decimal places, that's going to be more than enough accuracy. Right. So we're now going to be working out side AB. So AB squared is going to be equal to my 70 squared plus the 71.7 dot squared minus 2 times 70 times by the 71.7 times the cosine of the angle between them and that's the cosine of 81.04 so i can use the answer button here but for this 71.7 i'll type in 71.7083 Right, so for AB squared, that gives me 8,479.5572. So AB, the length I want to find, I'll just square root that. So square my answer and I get 92.0845. So we'll take... Um, the answer to three significant figures, it doesn't tell us how much to round it by. So if we do 92.1 and that is going to be in meters. So I probably need to change here where I've got centimeters, change that to meters. So 92.1 meters and that is two, three significant figures. Okay, part B. We're asked to find angle BAD, so BAD, so that is this angle here. Now to find that angle, I can use the sine rule because I've got a side angle pair here. And I've got a side angle pair here with the missing angle. So let's start with the ones that I know. And since I want to find the angle, I have the sine A part at the top or the sine B part at the top. So I will have sine of this angle here, and that is 81. And we can use this value here, 81.0459 over the side that goes with it. Now the side we've got before we rounded it as 92.0845. So it's useful to write it down to four decimal places. That means it's going to be accurate to at least three decimal places equals um, the sine of the angle we want to find. And that is angle um, BAD, bad, the bad angle, divided by the side that goes with it. That's the 71.7. Now that's that to four decimal places. So 71.7083. So if we times both sides by the 
that will give us the sine of angle BAD as 0.7692. So we then do the sine inverse and we'll get angle BAD as 50.2850. So we'll round that to um, three significant figures. So we'll have 50. 0.3 degrees that's three significant figures so probably now is a good time just to highlight some answers before we move on so that was side AB and this is angle BAD okay let's move on to part C and part C is asking us to find the area enclosed by the four masts. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to work out the area of these two separate triangles. So this one here. So we'll start by working out the area of triangle BCD by using half AB sine C. So we'll use these as A and B and this is sine C. So that'd be half times by 75 times by 80 times by sine 55 and that is 2457.4561 that's going to be meters squared then we're going to work out the area of this triangle here so that's area of triangle bad bad so again that'd be half now we're going to use these two sides. We've got a choice. I could use these two and this angle in between. Um, I'm going to use these two here. So half 70 times by the 71.7. Now that was, this was in it to four decimal places. So 71.7083 times by the sine of the angle between those two, which is this one which was the 81.04, which is that one to four decimal places. So sine 81.0459. And that gives 2,479.2045 meters squared. So then the total area enclosed is basically just going to be the sum of those, so the 2,457.4561 plus 2,479.2045. Let's see what that gives us. That's 4,936.6606 meters squared. So we want to round that to a suitable degree of accuracy. So um, again, three significant figures, or we could do it to the nearest meter squared to three significant figures then that would be 4,940 meters squared and that's three significant figures. So you should now be able to do exercise 9e on pages 189 to 191 of the textbook.